Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our roundup of new sewing pattern releases. Got a really great week of stuff actually. Most excitingly, I think this week we have got a new issue of Fiber Mood that's arrived, issue number 25. It's the September issue, which I think is always their best one. It's got the most exciting patterns in and it's starting to make us, force us to think about the changing seasons, what we're gonna make for winter. And I always feel like the Fiber Mood is the, the, the kind of catalyst for that. So, unfortunately, I don't have a physical copy in my hands because the postman is holding it hostage. So I'm going to show you some pictures and line drawings, but apologies for not actually having a physical copy. It was just, you know, he likes to sew too, apparently. So he's holding on to it until who knows when. So pattern wise, you get 12 patterns um, this time. They come in sizes 6 to 30. Um, what else do you need to know? That's probably it on the sort of sizing. Um, there are three jackets two pairs of trousers, a skirt, a dress, tops, blouses. I mean, there's just a really great, almost like a capsule wardrobe. So that you could just probably buy this and that would do you throughout kind of winter. Um, really fab. Right, so let's get like stuck into these. So first and foremost, let's talk about the coat. This is the cover image of the magazine. I really love the shape of it. Boxy um big statement pockets on the front you can see that it's got a really nice sort of upturn in the seam at the side seam and slightly longer hem at the bottom which i love for winter coats it always kind of means when you sit down on a if you're outside it kind of keeps you more cozy buttons down the front and i think this coat you'll just want to make year on year i just think it's so great blouses there is a round neck with a quite a big statement, I don't know, a little hand flick, statement sleeve going on, huge big sleeves, which are great. You can either make this a round neck version or there is a variation to have buttons down the front. I probably prefer the button down the front of the two. Um, cargo skirt, which is so great, very much on trend. Um, the trousers as well are great. So one of the pairs hat is slightly cocoon shaped tailors pleat at the front just a kind of really useful item for your wardrobe there's a bomber jacket that you can either have sleeves or without so it can be like a little padded vest or a bomber jacket which is really i think clever and useful another little cropped blouse with elastic at the bottom and buttons i think is really sweet with a big kind of swoopy elegant sleeve and then this super cute almost like a denim jacket that's been made into a dress. I think it's really interesting. I love it. I love how they've done it in the pink. Um, so it's almost a bit like a, a jumpsuit that's been made into a dress, if that makes sense. I'll show you the picture and you get more a bit of an idea of what's going on, but I just think this is really fab pattern. So that is it from Fiber Mood this time, which I'm quite pumped about. So get your copy before they go. Um, We've got a new designer on the site called Puff and Pencil, which is really exciting actually. So they started up their company in 2020. The concept for their brand is that they are kind of targeting beginners. Everything sort of mix and match. So you can make kind of, you can pick different bits to go together. So we have actually bundled together um, well, they do as well. They sell some of their patterns in a bundle, so you get the whole lot in one go because we figured that was probably for us and a bit easier. So we've got 11 of their patterns. They're really, really great. So if you haven't seen them, definitely go and check them out. They come in sizes UK 6 to 24. They're PDF only, these ones, but obviously there is coffee shop printing available if you want to. Um, I think I'm going to start with my favorite one which is the tie waist blouse and it's and co and the sleeve variation so the just the the titles of them might sound a little odd only because it's kind of two, almost technically two patterns put together but so it's a tie waist blouse and the cone sleeve but they're all together in one i hope that makes sense i think i've made that very complicated and it's not um so this is a very simple blouse really nice round neck detail 
The thing that's interesting about it is it's got a sewn channel around the waist, which you then thread through and cinch up to kind of nip it in at the waist. I really love the variation with the, uh, the long sleeve. I think it's a really useful item for this sort of transitional period where we're kind of moving into kind of more wintry things. But I think these also, having this that little bit of cinch at the waist makes it will make it really flattering to wear the slightly wider leg trousers. And I know a lot of people, we've had emails about it, about, you know, what, what to wear with a wide leg trouser if you want a looser top. And this, I think, kind of ticks both of those boxes. So next from Puff and Pencil, we've got the top stitch vest and box sleeve. So the sleeve comes with the vest. Um, this is a really nice sort of shacket. I think... I love it because of the sharp line. So if I show you a picture, you can see there's a really kind of sharp, crisp collar, which I think adds a really interesting detail. And I haven't seen the proportions like this before. It's got a big sort of boxy sleeve. There are statement pockets on the bust and you can either have buttons or you could do poppers depending on what, how you'd like to wear it. But it's great, the concept that you can wear it as a jacket you could wear it as a shirt and you could wear it as a jacket so sort of open so it's a quite a good layering piece and especially as we're moving now more towards wintry this could be a really nice transseasonal piece last but not least so i will then let you go and have a look at all of them is the versa pants which are really interesting if you haven't come across them yet so they're sort of a mix between a jogger and a cargo pants so very much on trend at the moment so you can see that they've got elasticated waistland waistland waistband um pockets on the side and pockets on the back but they're not there's not too many details so it gives a sort of a nod to a cargo pant but it's definitely on the simpler side. So again, as they are kind of targeting beginners, this is a sort of within the trouser world, semi simple make because the patch pockets are actually very easy to put on. So that is it from them. Make sure you go and have a look because there's lots of other patterns and you can pick and choose from. And then finally, a public service announcement is that um, McCall's have just done a pattern drop. So if you haven't seen yet, there are some really lovely new patterns on there. I will also add that they have done that funny thing again where they split some of the patterns into two size bandings. So if you see one that you like and it's got a kind of uh, like... Uh, just make sure that you like just make sure and it's not in your size just make sure you go and have a look because it might be in the other size banding um there's some lovely dresses a very summery i will say this batch but the thing the one that i am really really in love with is have you seen the mccall's 8410 it's a cropped shirt and trouser um little outfit and i think it's so cute so it's a almost like a pair of tailored trousers, quite wide leg pleated at the front, and then a boxy cropped shirt that you could either wear as a shacket or a proper little shirt. Um, but I thought that was a really nice outfit and it's quite nice to get the two patterns for, you know, a whole outfit in one go. So that is it from me. I hope that was useful and you found something nice and I will be back soon with another video. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye.